Hey everybody, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Today we are making a shredded hash brown cheesy casserole inside our electric roaster oven. Really easy. It's like pretty much just dumping everything in, letting it cook. We're gonna be able to feed a crowd and it's just gonna be delicious, cheesy, potato-y goodness. Here's what you need. So we are gonna do, I, I'm not gonna eat a ton, so I didn't wanna be wasteful. You can easily double or triple this recipe. I, I wanna say a triple recipe would fit in here. It's gonna have to cook longer. Double for sure, no problem. We're gonna be using three pounds of shredded hash browns. These are currently frozen. Now you can defrost them in your refrigerator um, overnight or about 12 hours before you're gonna start cooking and that'll help reduce your cook time. Mine are frozen, so my items are gonna cook a little longer, which is fine with me. I've got nowhere to go, nothing's open. So anyway, um, three pounds of this. So these are one pound, 10 ounces. I'm gonna use about a bag and a half. I've also picked up a frozen bag of your pepper and onion mix. These have the three different colors of peppers and then all your onions in there. You could do one whole fresh onion if you like a lot of onion. We're gonna be using 24 ounces of sour cream and we're using four 10 ounce cans of your cream of chicken, 10 and a half ounce. I just corrected myself, 10.5. You're gonna be looking here and be like, there are no 10 ounce cans. They're all 10 and a half. Yeah, just the uh, cream of chicken soup, four cans. Salt and pepper to taste, and also some garlic powder and onion powder. We do need some cooking spray, and you're gonna need two pounds of shredded cheese. I would definitely suggest cheddar. Now, um, here's what's going on in my life. So I was like, oh great, I'll make my Walmart order. We'll get everything all done. Social distancing, won't have to touch people. And when I was making my order, Walmart kept saying, oh, we don't have the cream of chicken soup. It kept like going out of stock. I was like, that's fine. My husband can pick up the order. I'll run into the store and get the cream of chicken soup. Did that, boom, got it, no problem. It was all there. Uh, he calls me and he's like, honey, they didn't have like three things that you needed. And I know you're filming tomorrow. They didn't have this pepper and onions. And I was like, all right. So I went back in after giving him the soup that I picked up. Um, so I went back in for a second time, picked up the peppers and onions, they had them. I guess they didn't have the Walmart brand and they didn't do like a swapity swap up. So uh, that was fine. We get home and I was looking through my recipes and I was gonna make spinach artichoke dip for another video. And uh, I didn't buy spinach. Somehow I totally forgot spinach. So I was like, all right, let's just, Publix is closer. Let's just run to Publix. We'll get some spinach. This is our third time now. Then it was like midnight last night. All the stores are closed, obviously. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, how did I forget cheddar? So in my fridge, I had a mixed bag of this and I have some mozzarella that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna make my work. Now I suggest two pounds of shredded cheddar for you, but for me, it's gonna be a little different. That's why now you know. That's life. What's on my mind? What's distracting me? A pandemic, I mean, I don't know. It could be anything. And you need one stick of butter because butter makes it better. First thing we're gonna do is spray down our pan. If you got some spray, give it a squirt. You could rub butter in here as well or anything else like that, that would work. In no particular order, add your ingredients. I am gonna do my hash browns last because I'm gonna like combine my creamy mixture stuff so that way all the seasonings get in there. So 24 ounces of sour cream, that's the big container, the big one. That's what's going in here. The butter we're just gonna cut up into little chunks and let it melt while it's all cooking. And time to dump in our soup. Had a big chunk of chicken for cream of chicken. Someone's gonna get a chicken surprise. Had to buy one Walmart brand. Oh, that's much more yellow. Makes you wonder. And cheese. The salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, just about a teaspoon of each is pretty good. Maybe a little more, a teaspoon and a half. Salt, I always feel you need more of. Garlic powder, onion powder. All right, let's get that all mixed up. Time for our onions. I need a knife. I, why am I even trying? Like, let me be Hercules. Time for our onions and peppers. This is one pound, exactly. Add some color. You could do fresh, you could be cool. Freshen it up. And now it's time for our hash browns. 
one and a half. And mix it up. Probably should have a bigger spoon than just a tablespoon. Looking in here after it's all mixed up, I'm taking back when I said you could triple this. You could double it. It's definitely going to fill this up if you double it and it is gonna take longer to cook. Now we are gonna cook this at 250 degrees for about an hour and a half, give or take. We'll see, it depends on how much you have in here, but you can stir it. You can stir it while it's cooking. You don't just have to leave the lid on. So about every 25 minutes or so, I'm just gonna give it a stir and mix it around and check on it. Let's get it cooking. There's that cheesy hash brown casserole after it's cooked an hour and a half. Now it doesn't have that crispy crust on it. All right, I let my hash brown casserole cook a little bit longer, more like two hours, almost two and a half, but it's ready to go. One of the things you can do is after it cooks for a little while is you can just um, turn it off or turn it to like that minimum. And if you let it just sit for a minute, it settles and it just, it turns out nicely. You can also put this in the oven at broil to get a nice crispy like cheese on top, which I know that's something like my husband loves. He likes it that way, but let's give this a try. I mean, that is good. That is cheese, that is flavor. Everything came together really nicely. It's just, I could just eat this all day. My cheesy casserole might look a little whiter than your cheesy casserole if you use cheddar because I used all that mozzarella and you know why. All right guys, that's it from keeping it real in the kitchen. Hope you guys give this a try. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe and that like button. See you next time, bye. Dang it. Just shot the whole thing without the mic on. It was a good take. I was happy with it, and now, no, it's fine. We'll just go from here. It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Gosh, it's gonna be like twelve thousand times. It's over now. Is your mic on? It was one and done. Yeah, check. Can you see it? Is it moving? If you like potatoes. <laughs> if you like potatoes or potatoes, I don't care how you say it. Smash it, smash it, smash it. <laughs> Subscribe all you cool cats and kittens right now. Smash it like the bear skin. <laughs> Gosh, it's a day. If you like potatoes. If you like to waltz with all you cool cats and kittens. This one's gonna have like 12 outtakes in the back of it with you guys just talking. And that's a wrap. If you like potatoes. That's a wrap, folks.